total, total. Are we are we live yet, Mr. Nickens? Yes, so what are they seeing me on the board? Good. Good. They need to see me on the board. Mavet door to wealth and riches. So we're looking at 25K, 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 25K. Can they hear me, Mr. Nickens? Yes. Okay, great. What we're, what we're going to show today, I want to see, am I, am I doing my shoulder thing here, Mr. Nickens? Yes. Okay, what we're going to show today is the opportunity that we have to create wealth. And it's going to be an incredible day because we're going to, have to spend time with me. We're going to um, go over also the wealth portal, which is the Mavet door to wealth and riches. The Mavet door to wealth and riches, the mind, the vision, the energy, and now utilizing the technology. Each and every one of you are going to go through that door. And as you transition to, through, through that door, I want to give you the imagination of the importance it is for you to not just make money, but make more money. Right now, everybody has an opportunity to make money with their job or with their entrepreneurial venture, but what we're going to show you is how investors think. Because it's great to be a sole proprietor, but it's better to be an investor. And we're going to help you clearly identify who you are, which is extremely important. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some numbers up, and these numbers 25,000, 25,000, 25,000, 25,000. Anybody? And we got a great group in the room. Say hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> you can't see them, but they're here. <laughs> and what they're going to do is they're all going to help me go through this process. Ms. Deborah Day. We got a seat for you. Is that a seat right there? Okay, great. So what we're going to do is the group here is going to help you and help the individuals who were broadcasting get an understanding of how the process works. Now, even though we're broadcasting and we're live, you guys can exhale a little bit. We're good. Is, is, is that make sense? <laughs> you can laugh. You, you understand? And, and interject every once in a while. It's all good. It's all good. So this is what we have. We got, let's say this is the PPN. Now, what I'm going to say is my goal is to, this is number one. This is number two, this is number three, and this is number four. Let's think of how investors think. Investors don't think one business, they think multiple businesses. As I always say, what's the difference between an asset and a liability, okay? Assets put money in your pocket while you're working and liability, and also while you're not working, Liabilities take money out of your pocket. So what we want to do is have everybody create assets. I, but I want to make it perfectly clear, just getting the money does not mean that you've reached the pinnacle of success. 
What it means is you just got money. But unfortunately, especially people of color, we always have to, I always say 10 steps, everybody else is five. I always use that as an example. But we can't let that be an excuse because it's not excuses that keep us broke, it's legitimate ones. So we got to understand that if we're going to obtain the mentality that it takes to be successful and to be a winner, to be a winner, we cannot let legitimate excuses stop us. Now, are they there? Absolutely. To say they're not there will put us in a position where we're at a disadvantage. It's like saying paradigms. I teach people negative paradigms and positive paradigms. So to say that those paradigms are not there is putting us at a disadvantage. So what we have to do is strengthen our minds. I'm going to repeat that. Strengthen our minds because when we focus on our minds, then it's irrelevant who the president is. <laughs> when we focus on our minds, it's irrelevant who's in the House. When, it, when we focus our minds, it's irrelevant who's in the Senate. When we focus our minds, it's irrelevant where we work at. When we focus on our minds, it's irrelevant where we live at. When we focus on our minds, it's irrelevant what our bank account looks like if we're not happy with it. You got what I'm saying? So the key component to understanding how to achieve success is based on the dynamics Imagination. Turning imagination into manifestation. See, when we understand how to turn imagination into, into manifestation, it's irrelevant where we are at now in our present environment. Do you guys agree with that? <laughs> and see, what I'm telling you makes sense consciously, but it does not make sense subconsciously when dealing with the negative paradigm. Remember, your body is the instrument of the mind. <laughs> we can say what makes sense, but what we do doesn't always make sense. For example, we might say, I want to not, I don't need to be, eating sugar, or I don't need to be eating cake because I'm trying to lose weight. And as soon as you say it, 15 minutes after that, you're in the refrigerator looking for cake. <laughs> Does that make sense? Or I shouldn't be doing certain things. How many of us have ever said we shouldn't do certain things? Anybody say that? And then later we did those things. Can anyone? <laughs> Does that make sense? And, and you're even saying while you're doing it, this don't make no sense. And I can even take it deeper. How many of us have been in relationships that you knew shouldn't have been in? And while you're doing whatever you're doing in that relationship, you say, this don't make sense. Does that make sense? And we're saying, why? How many of you have been at jobs that you know you didn't like? And while you're working, you're saying to yourself, this don't make sense. How many of you got checks from your job and you look at your check and you say, this don't make sense? So why are you working at that job? Because you, were, you have a mindset that you don't have any other choice. <laughs> so how can we change that paradigm? The key is turning imagination into manifestation. What we first need to understand, which is extremely important, this is important. When you understand this piece is we're all energy. Everything is energy. Everything is what? Energy. Everything is what? Energy. Everything is what? Energy. Your energy. Everything is energy. And when you understand energy, you understand the dynamics of energy. Your imagination is energy. Your manifestation is energy. Everything is energy. So the key is, if your energy in your imagination and what you want out there is energy, you're both energy, 
The law of attraction says you can connect if you're based on the right frequency. You got what I'm saying? Okay, what's the right frequency? It's like I can look on this phone and call Deborah Day's number. Deborah will pick up. That means I'm on the right frequency with Deborah. <laughs> you got what I'm saying? What happened? Imagination turned to what? Manifestation. I thought about her, but I used a tool to get to her. <laughs> Are you with me? I have that ability to manifest. That's a easier way to manifest. But did not I have to think about what I wanted to do before I did it. The key is the same. You use the same technique. But when I looked at the phone, there was no doubt in my mind that when I dialed it, she would pick up. Now, are there times she might not pick up? But now they have a technique called texting <laughs> that gives me another opportunity. But eventually, because of the dynamics of my imagination, meaning she might not pick up immediately, but based on my relationship, I know she's going to pick up later and call me. Right? I'm very confident that that's going to happen. When you are as confident in what you imagine happening less like that, guess what? It will happen. If you're just as confident in reference to making $10,000 a month, that will happen. If you're that confident in reference to making $20,000 a month, that will happen. If you're that confident in making $100,000 a month, that will happen. Are you guys understanding what I'm saying? Every, all educators and all Many leaders who write books on the mind, many individuals who are extremely successful, especially speakers, who educate, motivate, and inspire, one, of th one thing they all agree on, every single one of them, you are what you think. They, agree, they disagree on most everything else, <laughs> but one thing they all agree on, you are what you think. So the whole key is we have to learn how to strengthen our mind process. See, we've been bamboozled when we were born because your dad's DNA and your mom's DNA, they connected and then you were born. But you were born into a situation where you were born to succeed but programmed to fail. <laughs> You guys got that. And it's not anybody's fault because that is a level of a generational curse. You got what I'm saying? And you say, why is that? Because we weren't taught to work on our sixth sense. We were taught to work on our five senses that are based on what you see, what you hear, what you smell, what you taste, and what you touch. But the key to manifestation has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the key of the sixth sense of manifestation. Now, are, are those senses important? Absolutely. Do they get the ball rolling? Absolutely. But it doesn't transition you into where you want to be until you get to this state, which is the sixth sense. How many of us have ever had a dream and a vision? Anybody here? How many of us have a passion and a purpose? Anybody here? Well, how come you're not living that? You, you understand what I'm saying? It's your mind. See, some people might think, I need money. No, you need mind. <laughs> if I only had money. No, if you only had mind. <laughs> you got what I'm saying? We think of the things that are material and we focus on that, everything, but what's in between your ears. The same thing that's stopping you from succeeding in the things you say you should not do is the same things that's stopping you from manifesting. Am I making sense here? And see, consciously, everything I'm telling you right now is making sense. But why are we not doing it? Because in our paradigms, we have habits. Think of a big piece, of, think of a big puzzle with a whole bunch of pieces, all right? Think of that puzzle with all the pieces being a paradigm. 
within that paradigm. So it's a big puzzle. You see the paradigm. In the puzzle, there are habits. And what happens here is until you change those habits within the paradigm, you will have a weak paradigm. That, that means you have a weak level of manifestation. God has given each one of us the ability to create. See, the first thing I had to teach everybody was that at the training, I am the creator in me. I have years and years of deprogramming in reference to you guys and everybody I have to work with. You understand? So just like I'm still going through a deprogramming process myself, I just was blessed in the 90s before, after I was a juvenile counselor, prior, before really getting into business, I was a juvenile counselor. I was making $18,000 a year. I was $48,000 in debt, and being a single father and having custody of my daughter, I was frustrated. So somebody came to me and educated me, and I seen what he had first visually. But once we started progressing, he said, in order for things to change, you got to change. In order for things to get better, you need to get better. And I said, what do you mean? He said, first thing we need to work on is your mind. And one of the things I immediately did when I started working with him, he said, well, we need to do, get some money to go to training. And my first thing out of my mind, out of my mouth was can't. I can't do that because my financial situation is not right. The first training I went to was in Colorado. I lived in Massachusetts. I was making $18,000 a year. I was $48,000 in debt. He said, you need to come to this training with the leaders. I'm going to put you in a position where I'm going to introduce you to all the leaders, the owner of the company, and strategically set you up so they know who you are. My first thing was, I can't. You understand? And he said, yes, I know you say you can't, but you can't say I can't. I said, I can't say I can't because my bank account is negative right now, so I can't. He says, I get your bank account is negative right now, but you say you can't say you can't. I said, let me tell you something. I'm paying last month's bills with this month's paycheck. I can't. He says, I know your situation is like that, but you say you can't say you can't. And he said, do you want what I have? And I said, absolutely. He said, let me tell you what my mentor taught me. He said, what? He taught me I can't say I can't. And once I started saying I can't, my life changed around. Because the more I said it, the more I started thinking it. The more I started thinking it, the more I was over, able to overcome obstacles. You got what I'm saying? So what you got to eliminate immediately or be conscious of it because you won't eliminate it immediately. It's a, pro it's a process. You got to get a paradigm shift of that puzzle that says I can't. <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> Sometimes you say I can. Why well, say I can? Okay, let's count the times you say you can't. Like people going to the training that don't have money. They say they can't, especially people who are out of town. They say, I can't. But we have a system that says every time you help somebody, when you financially empower somebody in your community, you financially empower yourself. Have you ever heard me say that before? Okay, why? Because we set a system up. If you help somebody, you will be compensated. So, for example, if somebody goes out there and they, and they get the 280 pack, well, out of that 280 pack, you get $100. Now, if you out of that 280 pack with $100, that is a step towards making the money to come where? <laughs> to the training. So have we not started to eliminate the word can't? But if we don't do anything at all or don't initiate any steps, that means you said you can't. See, some people say, I didn't say I can't, but your actions dictated you couldn't. That's why my favorite two words is we'll see. I don't listen to what people say. I watch what they do. You got what I'm saying? Because y'all are good at lying to yourself. So I know you're good at lying to me. <laughs> you're good at lying to you. You do it good. Don't you know you lie to yourself all the time? 
You understand what I'm saying? I'm not here to insult you or belittle you. I'm here to help you to understand who you are, to thy own self be true. Because once you understand you, then you can fix you. And once you start fixing you, you can do something I always say, you can better your best, right? How many of you want to better your best? How many of you want to better your best out there? See, that's what this is all about. This is all about bettering your best because I can show you all the money here, but if your mind ain't right, it ain't manifesting. See, this is the bank's money. So you got to take the bank's money, utilize that to make more money. Can we all say more money? More, more money. money. Then you got to pay the bank back. That's the game. Are you, got, you understand what I'm saying? See, we're so busy, especially people of color, we just trying to get to the money. And I get that. <laughs> I was that guy. If I could just get to the money. Then finally I got to the money and I said, oh, I got to play the game. And guess what? I crashed and burned. Because I was just excited to get the money. Then I got the money again. But what helped me was I got into the business funding industry. I had a mentor, had a beautiful office in Santa Monica on 4th and 5th Street, not far from the promenade. You guys know what that area is? I did a lot of business deals in that particular area. Also, I was doing real estate, REO, short sales, fixer up as I made money in Beverly Hills, made a ton of money in Compton. I made more money in Compton, believe it or not, than I made in Beverly Hills. So, but I also was taught to be a business funding advisor where I help people get money as well as a small business advisor. So I was doing well, because a lot of people can advise you on establishing your business, but they can't get you the money. Mm -hmm. You got what I'm saying? I remember I had a business advisor. I set up my business plan. It was all looking good, educating me on profit and loss, educating me on accounting. I had it going on. I went to the bank denied. <laughs> Wait a minute. I did all this work, attend these classes, <laughs> spent some money. Went to the bank and got denied. I'm like, something is wrong with this. And then I called a lot of my classmates. They were saying, denied, denied. <laughs> I'm like, what's up? And they all looked like me. That was disturbing. You got what I'm saying? So when I put this process together, the key was, was to get the money. Then I became a small business advisor. I started learning about credit and the dynamics of credit. I learned that piece. See, we are so afraid to fail. But the key to success is you got to experience the experience. You guys, what I'm saying? You guys got it so much better than me. Because I've already been through it. You got I already spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. I've lost millions with an S. You got what I mean? I've been there, done that, wore that T-shirt. You understand? I've been there losing everything and being functionally depressed, not knowing what I want to do and how I want to do it. I've been there. But the key to this game is I don't care how much money you're going to get. If you don't change your mindset, it ain't manifested. It ain't my fault. That's my disclaimer. <laughs> if you don't do what we ask you to do, it ain't my fault. And even if you do, ain't no guarantees because we all investors here. You guys know what I'm saying? Because we're you're not, this is not a guarantee where you purchase a service and have somebody work for you. I don't work for you. I work with you. Does that make sense? I work with you. We are co-investors because you're an investor. What are you? 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 That's what you are. Know who you are. <laughs> you understand? And even if you don't think you're that, use your what? Imagination. <laughs> Make believe you are right now. <laughs> I know you might have come from your job. I know you might have come from every situation you might have come from. I know you might have just came from a distraction. But when you walk through this door, 
you're an investor. Why? And whatever you brought in that was negative, go back to your car, open the trunk, put it in there and close it. You guys got that? And it, don't do it physically, do it mentally. I promise you this, whatever it is, when you go back to your car, it'll be waiting for you. <laughs> you guys, guys, what I'm saying? So don't worry about it. This is when you walk through the store, your imagination starts to kick in because I'm going to show you something that you got to have an imagination to even try to understand it. You're with me? Because if you don't have one or make believe you have one, then it ain't going to happen. See, 90% of success is showing up. But here's another piece. 10% is acting up. And what's acting up? See, sometimes we think acting up means negative. Now, them kids is acting up, right? Acting up with us is we are acting to a higher level, meaning acting up is you're thinking up. You guys was, got, got, got what I'm saying? Your mentality has just gone what? Up. Your mentality has gone what? Up. So you got to act like an actor. <laughs> Act like you're a millionaire. Act like you understand. Act like you're going to get this money in your imagination. Because if you act like that, it will manifest. Like I tell people, do your three events a week. Or if you can't do three, do two. If you can't do two, do one. But when you walk into that hotel or wherever that event is, wherever you think you are, you need to act up. You need to take your, I'm a dot, dot, dot. I'm a millionaire. I'm successful. I'm an investor. You understand? I'm a leader. That's acting up even if you don't think you are. You guys got that? When you walk in, you walk in with swagger. You walk in with a positive mental attitude and a superior state of mind. Even if you're not that. Because if you keep acting up, you will eventually will be the person you're trying to act up and be. But only way for you to do that is to experience the experience. So if you're not going to events or if you're not going to businesses, it ain't going to happen. You're going to be who you are right now because you have to experience the experience. The only way we're going to put billions of dollars into communities across the country is we got to act up. But first thing, we got to show up. You understand? If you don't show up, the money ain't showing up. So you're waiting for the money to come to you where you need to attract it to you. Are you understand what I'm saying? So I'm trying to tell you, just showing you what I'm going to show you ain't enough. I'm going to show everybody how to get to their back office. I'm going to show everybody how to get to their portal. Everybody who went to the training, when you leave here, you're going to sign your application whether you got the money or not. Because if you sign your application, whether you got the money or not, physically you got the money what? Mentally. And if you got the money mentally, what did you just do? You acted up. You guys, because we don't live in the world of can't, we live in the world of can. It doesn't matter. So you already been to the training. So I got you now. Because there's terminology that I'm getting into that you, you're hearing, like, I heard that before. I understand that. I see that. That's in your imagination now. That means you are working on your paradigm shift. That's why you've got to go again in April, again in, in July. You've got to go again in uh, October, November. I'm still working on those two dates. Because it's not just about the money. It's about the mind. I understand, but the mind comes first. And it's going, I always tell people, it's going to take about 12 seasons to get significant paradigms. But the great thing is every 90 days, you could have some paradigm shifts in those puzzles you got in your head. <laughs> That's one paradigm that, that are habits. We can start adjusting not one habit, we might can adjust four or five or six at the same time. You got to build that confidence in the most important person, which is you. You're not where you need to be in the level of creating. You're not creating money at a high level. Can we all agree with that? Yes. So the whole key is, well, what can I do to create money? 
I'm going to help you get the money, but if you're just focusing on this money and you're not focusing on what to do with the money or how to create more money, it's going to be relevant because you're going to lose. I'm setting up, we set up a system where we got calls every morning, we got affirmations every morning. Deborah's going to go over this. I'm really excited because she started to initiate a training for a few individuals, now has opened it up, and um, we got to give her thanks for um, really having vision. Say, so, you know, I'm not just going to do it for my team. I'm going to do it for the community. So I'm just here to assist her after this. I'll be here, but I'm assisting her. I'm going to set the table, but I'm assisting her. Why? Because I'm allowing her to experience the experience. But guess what? We need some more leaders to experience the experience. But it's not you don't get up by just being a great educator, a great motivator. You got results because you can't cash in on good intentions. Only results count. We need people who are helping get this billions of dollars out to the community. Well, we can't get it out to the community if people ain't showing up. We can't get it out to the community if people ain't acting up. This is a million dollar game for you. This is a six figure or seven figure income game for you that you could earn on a yearly basis. And if you've got a strong imagination, you could earn it on a monthly basis. See, right now I'm already fighting the paradigm. I get it. Oh, a million dollars a year. Oh, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. Your paradigm, like, no, you can't. Yeah, yeah, I, you, you all hyped up now. Wait till I get you home. Remember when your parents say, oh, you hyped up now, you acting up. Wait till I get you home. <laughs> you got what I'm saying? Them kids acting up at the store. Wait, wait till I get you home. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Wait till I get, and when you got home, I told you not to act up in the store. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, that's how your paradigm thinking right now. I'm going to give you a whipping because you shouldn't be acting up. You need to be back where I'm at. You need to be in this family, not that act up family. So I'm going to whip on you. First, I'm going to have you look at your bank account. Then I'm going to remind you how much you get paid. Then I'm going to remind you all the people who say you can't do some other people's opinions. I'm going to make sure you hear, you can't do this. Are you sure you want to do this? Is this something you want to do? Then I'm going to have you listen to you, which is me. <laughs> Having, wondering, are you capable? Are you smart enough? Do you have the ability? Do you have the talent? Do you have the drive? Do you have the know-how? All that, oh, it's gonna beat you up. Then once that happens, then you create fear, you create doubt, and you go back to the lifestyle that you're used to. So the whole key is, how can you break loose? That's why we have a system to teach you how to break loose. You're with me. You cannot do this by yourself. That's the first thing you need to understand. They talk about working with a mastermind group, a group of like-minded people. It doesn't mean that if somebody is better than you, you can't affiliate with them. What it does mean is that we're in it together because teamwork makes a dream work. Does that make sense? Yes. That is such a significant statement because isn't a dream related to your imagination? <laughs> mm -hmm. So how can we turn energy to energy? So I'm going to show you this money. So I got to prep you because I know I'm fighting your subconscious mind. When you understand the imagination, you don't have to learn how right now. Every, all you guys are going to try to figure out how right now. You don't have to worry about how. You, a lot of you guys are how people. I feel a whole bunch of, I want to learn this now. It ain't happening. Sorry. So let's cancel that. However, the how will come because of repetition, because repetition is the mother of all learning. You're with me. Yes. It will come. The teacher will appear when the student's ready to learn. You ain't ready to learn every aspect of it, but at least the door is open because when you leave here today, one thing I know, you will have better your best, right or wrong. That's good enough. Don't let your paradigm beat you. That's too complicated. You ain't going to understand that. Frustrate you. 
You will not learn it today. I got years and years and years and years. You're going to try to catch up with me in one day. It ain't happening. You're with me. I secured over 500,000 in, 20, in 24 months. That's the great news. At that time when I did it, the not so great news, I didn't have a system to duplicate it until now. Now I can show you not just the stack, I can show you a piece of the puzzle. It ain't the whole piece, but I gotta strengthen your imagination, you with me? So when you see it, it's in your head now. It won't be denied. Can we all say more money? More money. Can we say more money? More money. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 25,000, what does this mean? This is your first PPN. The goal is 25,000. I don't know what the banking industry is going to do or what it does on a weekly basis. But what we did was, this is important to understand, for the 25,000, it's gonna be 15,000 in reference to the back end costs. Why did we incorporate that? Because I wanted to bring people in the game who will be motivated to help you. And people, when you pay them, are they not motivated? Yeah. <laughs> you got what I'm saying? And I told everybody also, don't go for the 3,500, go for the 3,000. Now, some of you, if you paid $100 on the 26th of January, I believe, you got $100 off. And then when you attended, you got another $100 off. We had to adjust the discounts because we increased the buying power. You guys want to saying, and if you paid and had paid 181, you got another hundred dollars off. So 100, 100 is 100 is how much? 300. So some of you are going to pay 2,700, and or some of you are going to get 200 dollars off if you didn't complete the steps. Because if you just were there, you got 100 dollars off, right? And if you paid for the next training, no, if you paid 181 and you're a part of the system, and you pay for the training, you got what? $200 off. Does that make sense? So everybody should at least have $200 off for 2800 I'm going to repeat that just in case you didn't understand. When we got there, if you paid, I think, by January 26, you got $100 off. Do you guys got that? When you got to an event, you paid hundred. You got another $100 off. Then we told individuals who were already, if you hadn't paid 181 or pay, for, or pay for the next training, if you do that at a certain amount of time, you would get another 100. Some people say, well, I already was in. Well, you don't have to worry about that step because you already win, meaning you're already a coach trained investor, so you didn't have to worry about the 181. Do you guys got that? Meaning you didn't have to pay it again if you were already in. You're with me. But then if you had to pay for the next training, it was a combination of the two. You already had to be a coach trainer investor and pay for the next training. You with me? Yes. So if you paid early 100, you attended that 100 and paid for the next training, it was 100. You guys got me? If somebody, I'm gonna give you a benefit because you're listening and because you're here, whoever did not pay for the training and they are a coach trainer investor, yet, if you pay for it by this weekend, you will get the third hundred dollars off. So I extended it for you. Ain't I a nice guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I watch who's here. I watch who's watching. You guys, because you came here, and if somebody is watching in LA, you don't get the discount. It's not fair that these guys are here, they found a way. I get things happen. But this is not a all for one, um for, one for all scenario where some can come and some can't. You guys, you guys, now are there exceptions to that rule? Yes, I don't know what they are, I have to hear them. I always take things into consideration. But because you got here, that's one advantage. There are other advantages because you got here. There's other advantages because you're listening. So I'm going to go through this real quick. So every, after you get that on the back end, meaning people say, do I, we got to pay the 15%? No, when you get the money, whatever you get, you pay 15 on the back end. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, the whole goal is we're going to be extremely assertive. I'm not making any guarantees assertive to get you more. You're with me. 
Now, some, there might be some instances where it's a little bit less. I don't know, because I can't predict the banking industry. Are you with me? But isn't the key here, though, is to get buying power. You're with me. And then what's going to happen here, then six months later, let's put six months here, six months here, six months here, six months here. I'm going to go through this real quick. The goal is to get 50000 plus from Ryan. You've heard the audio, 50000 plus. That's the goal, 50000 plus. You with me? And then 50000 plus. Now, this is the bank's money. Now, the good news is we got the PPN, but once you get the money, you're going to have your dream and vision. Okay, we'll call it DMV, your dream and vision, your passion and purpose. But also, we got an opportunity where you can be part, you can initiate it in the day trading, make an investment there. Also, we got the day trading investment club. I put a DTIC, so I won't have to write it off. Day trading investment club, day trading investment club. You guys got that? And also, we're going to set, help you with your real estate investing because we got Derek who will help you if you've got a down payment. If you've got deals out there, we can help you finance the deals. You're with me. And then, and more. I don't have time to get into all the intricate details. But we got more coming, so when you take this money, you have choices. There's nothing you have to do. But what you want to do is understand your choices. You got what I'm saying? Because you want to take this money and flip it so you can do two things, pay it back and create a profit. But the great thing about the PPN is not connected to your Social Security number. Are you with me? When I have the personal coaching sessions, I'm going to really break down <laughs> how you can take advantage of that. But this ain't the right place at the right time. But it is not an advantage, it is a major advantage. You're with me. Not an advantage, but what type of advantage? Major. So let's say we got here 100K, 100K. So you want me to show you how to do 500,000 in 12 seasons? Actually, some of you might do it in 24 months, which is eight seasons. Watch this. If you took one PPN, you got one, right? Right? When we said buying power, remember we said that? You can buy another one. Did you, did you get what I just said? Yes, sir. Then you, got, you get another 25, and what do you think you can do? Then you got, you got another one. What can you do? 25, 25, 25, 25. What's the total here? 100,000. You with me? Five, 10, 15, 20. How much is this total? Five, 10, 15, 20. How much? 200,000. Actually, we're not even going to go 100. We're going to do, we're going to do the, just duplicate. How about that? 50, 50, 50, 50, K, K, which stands for 50,000. 50,000, 50,000, 50,000. How much is that total? Do you got enough on imagination here? Let's add it up. 100,000, 200,000, 200,000. Can anyone tell me the total? But I told you a system to create 500,000. Do you think this is possible? Is there any guarantees? But is it possible? Are the odds in your favor? Because you're here, the odds are in your favor. Because what did you do? You showed up. Now all you got to do is act up. Act like you really can get it. <laughs> You guys got, you understand what I'm saying? When you watch the first video, did you not act like you could get it? When you watch the second video, did you not act like you can get it? 
When you're on the call in the morning, are you not acting like you can get it? Because you drove here. Are you not acting like you get it? You understand? First you got to show up and then you got to do what? When you act up, your money will go up. Can we say more money? More. I'm going to show this real quick, then we're going to break. We're not just going to show up. What are we going to do? Act up. Act up. We got to act up. We click. Let me go back. Tell, okay, there you go. We're going to log in. Once we log in, we're going to click here. Now, if you have issues logging in, you forgot your password, you're going to click this. Now, if some reason you don't see this, you've got to email us at documents at CEMNDVN, which is on the last video. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over that because you should have seen the, watched the video. If you haven't watched the video, I would suggest watching the 30-minute video. Deborah Day, I should have did this already. I'm going to go into Deborah's back portal. I'm going to show you what you need to see real quick. And then we're going to take a break. And then Miss Deborah Day is going to do what she do. You guys excited about learning from her? Yes. I'm, I'm excited too. I'm excited too. I'm going to hang out a little bit. Okay. Thank you, brother. Deborah. Now, when you become a coach, trainer, investor, you're going to get this view. A coach trainer, oh, let me refine that. VIP 300 coach, trainer, investor. How many VIPs we got in the room? Can you, can you say, I'm a, I'm a VIP? I'm a VIP. I'm a VIP. Yes, you are. We are in one accord. VIP 300 coach, trainer, investors. You understand? When people ask me, they say, well, what do you do? Well, you know, I'm an investor. What do you mean by that? I'm a coach trainer investor. I'm an investor. I invest in assets. I invest in the stock market. I invest in real estate. And I also coach and train investors. I also coach. You can talk. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I told y'all can loosen up. Like, hey, y'all act like you at my crib hanging out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me get right right here. This a good shot, Mr. Nickin? That's an excellent shot. Okay, you know, relax. Relax. What do you oh, I'm an investor. What do you mean? Well, I invest in real estate. I invest in the stock market. I invest in assets. Also, I coach and train investors. You guys got that? Yeah. Don't let your paradigm saying you're not that person. Well, Mom, I don't know all about investing. Once you identify in your imagination that you are that person, the how will come. You, you, got, you guys got that? Yes, yes. Once you have your, see, one thing about your imagination is just you and your imagination. You need to have a relationship with your imagination. You need to stop feeding your imagination. You understand? It's malnutrition right now. It needs some food. <laughs> You understand? <laughs> it's all in the bed, sick and everything, you know what I mean? Like, please feed me. You know what I'm saying? And so, well, I always imagine stuff. Yeah, but you ain't showing up. That ain't feeding it. Just, everyone can imagine stuff. It's when you initiate the action. That's when you stop feeding it. You're with me? Yeah. See, I'm all in your imagination right now. I mean to be. I'm telling you what I'm doing. I want you to start thinking about the most important person, which is you, and the most important thing, which is your imagination. You understand? Yes. It ain't that, remember when you start imagining things and you went to your mother or your father or your parents and you say, I want to do that. They say, we can't do that. We can't afford that. Where did you start thinking about that? You understand? That's in your subconscious mind. Because they let the situation, and we get it. One thing I always say, first thing you need to do is forgive the people around you. Then you need to forgive yourself. So why do I need to forgive myself? Because you're doing things that you know you should not be doing. Right or wrong? Right. And I don't mean bad things. I mean you're working a job. You know you shouldn't be working that job. The creator's in you. You should have more than that job. 
Are you getting what I'm saying? You're bigger than that job. You're bigger than where you live. You're bigger than your car. You're bigger than your bank account. Do you realize that? In your imagination? But I'm going to show you how to take that energy that's in your imagination and turn it into manifestation. This wealth portal, what is it called? Wealth portal. So when you go here, this is a tool that's helping you strengthen your imagination. But it's in the physical realm. You need tools to help you. You're getting knowledge. You're getting strategy. Are you not getting resources? But if you don't use the tools to manifest wealth, that this, this only can go but so far. You with me? Yeah. It's like getting on a monopoly board. What happens when you get on a monopoly board? You, everyone gets money, right? Yeah. Then you got to do what? Well, roll the yeah. dice. Isn't it a risk? Oh, can I get a guarantee on the roll? Can I always roll doubles? No. <laughs> I want the guarantee. I want to roll all the way around till I get to boardwalk. Can, can you give me that guarantee? Come on, man. You got to play the game. You with me? This is a real game with real money. Are you with me? So we go to, this is how I go back here, Mr. Nickens. So when you get your, this is when, we, when you become website certified. You get to this area. All right? Now, if you're not website certified, you still get a wealth portal, but it starts here. Now, this is the component where it says saving my credit in partnership with the Mavet way. And if you look at you got the wealth letter, you got the Mavet newsletter. When you click on this, the newsletter pops up. That's the billion dollar newsletter. We're going to change the cover to what? A billion dollars. Right now it's what? What does it look like? A million. We're going to change it to what? A billion. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. 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 Then we have your success blueprint. We're working on this with the dating session. Then we have your score tracker. Then we have your results tracker. Then we have your credit monitoring. Now, what happens here is when you get your last four digits of your social security number, this is the only way we can see the results. Then you got your credit monitoring information. Okay? Now, in order, if you scroll up, watch this. What's this box right here? What is, can you see it? It says PPN. It says what? PPN. PPN. says what? PPN. Can you use your imagination? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm, I didn't instruct Mr. Nickens properly because we would have the screen up. So I messed up. That's my bad. They can see it out there. But if you look at the video, you can see it. I didn't even know there was an internet. There you go. <laughs> So at the very top is the imagination, okay? Now, I'm going to do this just a little bit. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? That's where, and you see right here it says PPN. Can you see that? Can you see that? So you guys can look at that screen right there. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Okay. Now, what happens here is that means as soon as you, I said it doesn't matter if you physically have the money because you got the money in your imagination. Is that correct? Yeah. Now, remember, you do not, you got up to April 24th to get your funds in for the discount. Well, you we said, well, do I don't have the discount. Then you pay three grand. You're still 100% qualified. So give yourself a hand on that. <laughs> See, do not let the three grand stop you. Let the 500,000 motivate you. That's, that's the, I don't, you gotta understand, as an investor, you ain't gonna get a deal like that no more. Now, is it just an opportunity? Yes. Are there any guarantees? No. no. But let me tell you something, I don't play here to lose. Are you with me? If you win, don't we all win? My goal is billions of dollars, not 500,000 for a few. 
I'm passionate about getting my people the money. If you ever spend time with me, you know I'm passionate about making this happen. It's, this is personal too. You understand? It's personal. I'm making this happen. There's people who told me I left a million dollar seat the last company. I was a vice president. Are you sure you want to do this? You crazy for doing this? And I even heard once I left, oh, he'll be back. But they don't know. That's just lights the fire for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm good now. I'm good. I'm good. I still get paid. They pay me every week. I got an asset over there. And I respect everybody over there. I have a great relationship with the leaders, have a great relationship with the owners of the company. They still call me and I still call them. Matter of fact, they're part of my mastermind team where I pick their brain. And there are times where they ask me for help and I've stepped up for him, for them. You got, got what I'm saying? It's the lower level people. <laughs> you understand? You know, the lower level people, people are always questioning your decisions, always telling you you can't. You know those people? Okay, let's get back to this, Mr. Nickens. So, here we got the PPM, all right? Now, want to click on that? And we got to update your stuff, Deborah. They, this is, Deborah's really allowed us to use her back office, give her a hand. <laughs> and all the stuff has been what happened, I'm gonna be, give you being 100. When we started the process and we had an IT team, they were setting everything up, but we found out they weren't what we thought they were. It's a team from India, so we had to reconstruct and give them the boot and get a better team. Does that make sense? And what we found was, when you put something together, you gotta to roadmap every step for those of you in IT, you know what I'm talking about, right? They were road step, they were road mapping, but not the right way. So now when we transition over to the better team, the road map was not a good road. It had potholes on it and everything. <laughs> you got what I mean? So what happened was when the transition, we lost some applications. There are things in the back office that are not right. You, you got what I mean? Like if I go through Deborah's team, there's people missing. If I go through her, her blueprint and scores, it's incorrect. You got what I mean? So that means if hers is incorrect, yours is gonna be incorrect. At the beginning, for those of you just getting in, you ain't gotta worry about it. But those of you who've been in for a while, don't worry about it if it ain't looking right. We will fix it, I promise you. You are with me? Don't look for perfection, look for what? Direction. Direction. But don't we still got a wealth portal? <laughs> Does that make sense? Yes. So all we gotta do is fix the bugs. That's why I reached out to a few people and I said, go look and see if you can get in. I'm still gonna reach out to you. You got what I mean? And if you can't, you gotta send us your username and password because that's a security process that you should be happy, be happy that we have. You're with me? You know, and if, now this is the great part, if you could go back, Mr. Nickens. This is the great part, which is this PPN application is there. Now what you wanna do is fill everything out. It, it's dealt with electronic sig signature, first name, middle initial, last name, mailing address. Now this is the key piece, you gotta recognize it. It says unique address. What does it say? Unique address. What does it say? Unique address. Then it says unique city. What does it say? Then it says unique state. What does it say? Then it says unique zip code. What does it say? Then it says unique email. What does it say? Then it's, so this whole, so what do you mean by unique? Not yours. <laughs> not your address. Not your email. Why is that? I just said this is not linked to your social security. When you go to your credit report, don't you see your address on there? Don't you see your email address on there? Do you want your new credit file to look like your old credit file? 
Can you do that, Mr. C? All day, every day. Did I not show you my 700 scores? Yes. On Experian. Yes. People who are wealth have more than one profile. That's what wealthy people have. They use it initially to protect it, and they say, wait a minute, we can do some things with it. And don't think people don't know. Don't think the bureaus don't know. They say, as long as you stay in the parameters of the game. See, there's a game we don't know. See, we got the world, we got the world wide web, right? Mm -hmm. Don't we have what they call the under, black web, or what's they called? Dark web. You understand? That's a whole nother world, right? So they got the credit that 95% have, and then the advantage, the second chance, the opportunity that only 5% is have. You ever heard that most millionaires went bankrupt three times before they became successful? You ever wonder how? You think they're working with one profile? You understand? They got corporations with EIN numbers, and they got numbers, whatever they might be. You understand? But see, what happens is when it trickles down to the individuals who don't have the right mentality, and they get that, they start abusing it. So what do the people in the 5%ers do? They change the game. It's the same concept, but they might change the number process. And I don't have time to get in it right now. But when you sit with me and spend time with me, I'm going to break some stuff down to you. You with me? Yeah, yeah we're going to show you credit because that's what the wealth blueprint is about. What has happened with your personal credit. But also, we're going to talk about what you're going to do with your new personal profile number and your new credit. I want to have that conversation. And I want to make sure you manage it right. Because if we get to one and you ain't managing it right, we ain't getting to two. Did you hear that? And if we get to two, you're like, okay, I made it to the promised land. You ain't getting to three. Let it be said. Is this recorded, Mr. Nickens? You are not getting to two if you're not managing one. And you're not getting to three if you're not managing two. Let it be recorded, because we are all investors. What are we? Yes. And we don't want people to mess this up. Things happen. We get that. I'm not talking about things happening. I'm talking about as soon as you get a PPN, you're going to get a Bentley, mm -hmm. which you can't get, by the way. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, you can get one. Wow. You ain't know that? Yeah. Or, or you can get loans. You can get credit cards. You can do everything but get a house. But you can get a down payment for the house, can you not? So you can't get a house. You understand? Well, what are you going to get the house with? Ain't we fixing your personal credit? This is a major league game. Are y'all really ready for this? <laughs> okay, I, I hope so. Go back to the application. I hope y'all ready for this. So you need a unique address. Like wherever you live, don't use that address. If you got a cousin and you never lived there, that's cool. A unique email. Are you with me? Yeah. Unique address, unique email. Any questions on that? This is a question. Go ahead. If you have multiple uh, emails, can you use one of those or do we have to make up our own email? You, you can use an email that is not connected to the world. And what I mean by that is if you've been buying stuff with that email, like a credit card or things like that, they link that up. That's a great question. So you know what's the best to do? No. Just get a new one. So you ain't got to think, did I use this one for this one for this one? You, you understand? Right. Just go, it don't cost you not, what, five minutes to get a new one? Right. Get a new one. And if you stayed at any address for any period of time, don't use that address. And use an address that you know when stuff go there, you're going to get your stuff. Not like your credit cards go there and all of a sudden you're like, did I get my credit cards and Uncle, J Uncle Jimmy done use them on you. <laughs> or you get the credit cards like, I didn't know there was stuff coming, I sent it back. <laughs> you understand? Use a dress. Use an address. Know why? Let me ask, that's, wait for that. In our days right now, do you know, 
and try to, I'm going to be 100. Can I be 100? Absolutely. Don't use no address in the hood. You need to go find somebody now. Is that worth you finding somebody now? Say, that's saying what again? Can't. Can't. <laughs> Don't say you can't. It's time to think big because you can talk to somebody in this room. You know what I'm saying? Don't. Well, I don't have the answer. This is this is what's on the first cover of the of this self-image man action. I'm gonna work on it to what? Make it happen. So as soon as you say, what if that's saying what? Say I'm gonna work on it to make it happen. Because your imagination will create. Are you with me? Does that help out? Yes. You are so strong. You're stronger than you know you are. Do you realize that? Yeah. You are a blessing. You've you got to stop believing that. Can you stop believing that today? So take my word on it, even if it's not going to take your word on it. All right? You with me? You're in the right place, girl. And guess what? You listening to me? This is very important. I'm getting ready to tell you. Are you really listening to me? You belong here. Did you hear what I'm saying? You belong here. Did you do the work to get here? You belong here. And it's always good to have the CEO. Ain't no one higher than me but God in this process. If I tell you you belong here, you need to stop believing it. Can you do that for me? Okay. Hold on him first, and I got you next. Go ahead. Um, I, have a, I have a couple of different sources of, of addresses. Um, now, are we able to use the out-of-state address? That's a good question. I, I was told try to get it in your state because I did address that to my processor. And they said, try to get it in the state that you're in. It's just better. It's just better. It's just better. I'm, and the reason why I address that, because I know when you get to the second and third and fourth one, you, you might know somebody from out of state. And they said, we will discuss it. Their preference is somebody within the state. The preference. You got me? That's a good question. I was going to ask something similar. Um, do we need separate addresses for each VPN? Yes. And emails. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. But this is one thing, Joe. This is a this you can have two different people. Like if you got a business partner and you use address one, your business partner can also use address one. You got you guys you got what I'm saying? So if you got an address and you got somebody you're working with, they don't have an address, you can say you can use this address. You're with me? Yes. I think I'm using Barry's address. I think, who else is using Barry's address? Are you using, me and Rodney is using Barry's address right now. Mm -hmm. Deborah using my address, right? Deborah's using my address. <laughs> you got what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure, I believe Elaine is using Chiquita's address. We're keeping it in the community. See how we work here? Community Empowerment Movement Network. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Say it again, Rodney. Right. Community Empowerment Movement Network. Right. You don't know, you better ask somebody. Go ahead. Um, would it be too close if I was to use my wife's relative's house or address? No. No? As long as it's not. Your address. Your address. Your email. Your address. No. Well, th well, they live in your house? They live in your house? No. Okay, long as you have not utilized it. That's good. You, you, you got this? Okay, you then you. Go ahead. Email addresses. So if I set up a totally separate email address, do you have a recommendation like on a name? It's like if I want to use my name, Deshaun Sweeney. I would recommend not using your name. Okay, thank you. I would recommend not using your name. There was another question. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, so with the PPN uh, number, where are these numbers generated from? We have a, a source that, what happens is there are a whole bunch of numbers out there and you have to filter the numbers. So my processor has a filter system. What does that mean? They check to make sure no one else has ever had that number. Does that make sense? Yeah. And the key component is, without giving you all the intricate when you have a nine digit number and you create it, it has to be affiliated 
That's why they ask for your license. It has to be affiliated with the area that you reside. And there are components, I can't tell you the secret sauce, but what happens is the key is vetting the number, making sure it's not out there. They have a, we have a vetting system to make sure, because people use numbers from dead people, social security numbers. There are people who use numbers from individuals, like if childbirth, you understand? Mm -hmm. So we have a vetting system that checks, does a, it's like a background check on each number. You understand? So that's, does that answer your question? Yes, and Go ahead. what's the difference between a PPN and a CPN? Is it an acronym or is it a different type of? It's the same thing. What's the difference between a, and I'm going to ask a question, what do you think a difference between a CPN and a Social Security number? Exactly. Now, this is the key. When the bureaus look for a number, do they say, we only want a Social Security number? Obviously not if I, have, I use a PPN and got out to the bureaus. You got what I'm saying? How many of you guys seen my 700 school? You seen Deborah? You understand what I'm saying? It's the nine digits. You understand? Yeah. Really? Honestly, if you talk to Mr. Messi, your social security number is not supposed to be used to connect to any credit. Yeah. You understand? They need a portal of entrance. Think the Bureau say, we need a nine digit number. This is how deep it is. Do you know the majority of people who are with the credit reporting bureaus, the majority of the items that are on their file or everybody's file have items that are incorrectly reported to the bureaus. Did you guys realize that? Yes. Everybody. Yes. Everybody. Some more than others. But everybody, you, I bet you if you look on there, you'll see a wrong name, you'll see a wrong address, you'll see something wrong. That means once that portal is open, people got access to put stuff on your credit. But they just know the door to go in. Are you with me? Yes. So the key here is, it's the same strategy. Just, now watch this. If negative stuff can be put on your file, can't positive stuff be put. Yes. You just got to know the door to go in. You with me? The strategy is finding the door. You say, is it fair? Well, is it fair when they put stuff on your file that don't supposed to be on your file? Is that fair? No. Broaden your horizon. Does is, is that make sense? I got people that are fighting issues. They come to me like, this has been on my credit for years. And I can't get this off. And I've, I've sent letters. I've sent police reports. I've sent, and they won't take it off. Because people learn how to keep it on. You're with me. That's why we're with an expert, because they didn't have an expert to take it off. Does that answer your question? Yes. Don't be mad at the player. Don't be mad at the game. Learn what? The game. <clears throat> Things change in the game, don't they? That's because this is how, but this, this number system has been created for the wealthy people. <laughs> when I say wealthy, we're looking at entertainers. We're looking at high-end real estate agents. We're looking at... It was really to protect their identity. You understand? Because they're always being sued. There's always situations. And that's, I, can, I can spend, I don't got time. I'm, I'm over my time already. But I know you guys had questions. Because if we don't get this in your head, the tools that Deborah's going to do, it won't give you due justice. Because everyone's here to learn about the PPN and get the tools. Yes. But if you're just looking for a PPN and not tools, you're in the wrong place. Are you with me? Okay. One more question. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so back to the physical address. Does it have to be a residence? I know it can't be a PO box, but you know some PO boxes have physical addresses. I would use an apartment or a house. I'll give you an example. Do you realize the credit reporting bureaus, a lot, excuse me, the credit card companies and people doing financing, a strategy right now is they'll go on Google What's that when they can Google up and know where you live at? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And there is a system now that they have that pulls an alert that will identify if it's a resident okay. or an apartment complex or a post office box. And they'll initiate out an alert that said, recheck this. So once that alert starts happening, now they start asking for documents. Or they can take a picture. That satellite, <laughs> I live here. They're actually doing that mm -hmm. to see if that's really a house. I've had back in the day, uh, my business partner told me somebody did try to pull a business funding application and they used a, an abandoned house, but they stayed right next to it. And they did a search and they was like, no one lives there. And they had great credit scores. That's the game. You understand? All you have to do is take an action Google and tell you if it's a valid address. Exactly. Right. But what happens too is now they got a, a level where they have not just that, they have a system to say if it's a P.O. box. You know what you said? Well, how are they going to know? They got a system that detects that too. So you can't hide. I just use your address. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> it's already taken. It's already crowded. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the VIP elites, which you will be one day. Won't you? Yes. Of course you will. Well, you got to make sure. You, it's not just, you got to have the right person right. with the right mindset. Hello. You understand? Sometimes paying people, they don't have, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. There was another question. All right, let's get to this real quick. Get back to that, Rodney. So you got to fill the information out correctly. Now let's scroll down. Scroll down. Your choice is um, credit cards with twenty thousand. As it says three thousand, it says second choice credit cards with twenty five and buying power. Go for the three thousand. Go for what? Three thousand. Go for what? Three thousand. With a discount. All right. Make sure this is. It won't pr progress if you don't sign anything. There's your, you've got to print your name, then we have electronic signature, and what you do is when you, when you click on it, the signature will come up based on the signature that you choose. You with me? Okay, and then you're going to scroll all the way down. You got, here's the date, it's already stamped. And also this information, you got to print again as signature. His date is already, already stamped. Now, an important piece is where you do the cash deposit. Dream Vision Nation, Wells Fargo, there's the account number. Then you got to send the receipt to Barry Menser. You guys got that? The amount that you deposited, your name on the receipt, if your name is not on it, because everything else is stamped. We got the amount when it was, so you need to email it to that address. Can you guys do that? Yes. We need to know the deposit was made. Even though we see it pop up, we don't know who it is. You have to send us the receipt. You got to send us what? Receipt. Okay, great. And then we have, you can do a domestic wire as well, if you should choose. That information is on the application. Even if you're not ready to pay, fill out the application. Can you guys do that? Yes. We need to know. We need to know. We need to know who's in the game. You made it this far. Don't let your situation stop you. Any final questions? Did you learn something today? Yes. Oh, yeah.